Sorry. My sinuses are hurting today. I think I need to do a saline spray. Oh, I can't see me at all. Today is Sunday, December 17th, and I only filmed one clip yesterday, I think. I don't remember if I filmed in the morning yesterday, Saturday, but I did film a little bit of a clip, just like just a tiny one at the Nutcracker, because we went to the Nutcracker right after work. It was all day yesterday. I woke up, I went to work, got off work, and then took a, I then went to the Nutcracker. Friday, I got off work at two, said I was gonna film a little clip between two and five when I had to go back to work, and I don't remember if I did that either. <laughs> I don't know. I'm falling off a little bit, but Brad just left to go Christmas shopping for me and I am cleaning the house. The house has fallen into disarray. I I really haven't been cleaning as regularly as I was for obvious reasons. Like I don't work from home anymore and when I worked from home, I had time to clean. So now that I'm working out of the home, I'm still working on balancing, you know, work and and home chores but it got too far it was too dirty I couldn't stand it and I decided that today Sunday I was gonna do just a whole house clean I'm just gonna do it all all at once so I just vacuumed upstairs I did all the prep downstairs early earlier when I first woke up this morning I did all, I picked up I tidied I took out recycling I carried laundry around to where it needed to go made a pile of things to carry upstairs and I've, every time I've been coming upstairs I've been taking a pile of things, bringing a pile of things up here. And now I just vacuumed up here. I had to clean out the vacuum too. It was still dirty from last time I used it. Ooh. So I cleaned out the vacuum, vacuumed up here, and now I'm gonna take the vacuum downstairs and I'm going to vacuum downstairs. And after that, I just need to catch up on laundry and clean the bathrooms and that's it. Oh, and mop the kitchen floor. I should mop everything. We'll see how I feel. I might just do that another day. But at least the kitchen floor needs mopped because it always, I'm weird about my kitchen. It needs to be clean. So yeah, feeling good. It doesn't look super tidy in here because I've been bringing stuff up from downstairs. So I have started <laughs> accumulating more things, but I just haven't found a home for them yet. But I will for now. There's the vacuum over in the bedroom. I just vacuumed the bedroom. Did the top half of the stairs because I have to do the stairs. The top half of the stairs gets vacuumed with the upstairs and the bottom half gets vacuumed with the downstairs. So I even did the stairs. Thank goodness. Once you get started, getting started is the hard part. Once you get started, it's easy to clean. Did I want to tell you anything about knitting? Probably. I am almost at the toe of Brad's sock. I really need to just measure and see how much farther I need. It's a few rounds. Honestly, I'm getting really close for Brad's first Christmas sock. And I am like 12 rounds from the toe of my first advent socks. So after I'm done cleaning, I am going to cast on a new pair of socks. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reward myself. I'm actually not going to cast on my second advent socks yet. I'm going to wait to do that after I finish my first advent socks. Which could be, which it'll be today. I'm gonna try to finish them today. But I am gonna cast on these. Yes. This is the, from like the very first day of Vlogmas, the potion yarns. The potion yarns, yarn that I caked up at the beginning of Vlogmas, Winter Wonderland. And I have the needles. I have needles in here. Yep, I have needles in here. It is ready to go. I think I even have a progress keeper in here. So I'm gonna cast those on as soon as I'm done cleaning, but I'm not doing anything until I'm done cleaning. I also have computer stuff to do today. I need to do class. <laughs> I'm falling a little bit behind on class. I need to do at least one lesson today. And I also need to edit the last episode of Vlogmas. It was supposed to go up yesterday and I was just busy, so it didn't. But I haven't even edited it yet, so I'm going to actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast these on while I'm editing Vlogmas and I need to do class. But first, cleaning. Hello, we are making a thumbnail for the Vlogmas episode I just edited. I'm also in the middle of 
a lesson, doing a class, but I paused to upload my video because I, it was finished. So let's do this. I don't wear glasses. These are blue light filtering <laughs> because I'm having to read a lot on my computer screen and it makes my eyes so tired. Brad is still not home. He must be doing some serious shopping. I hope he's not having a horrible time shopping. He's, it's not his favorite thing to do. I also started my little sock. I didn't get very far because I vlogmas was a bit editing heavy today. I had a lot of cuts to make, but I did cast it on. It is happening. Aren't you done? Thumbnails done. Hood, do not bark. All right, I have a lot of things going on on my computer right now, so it's taking a minute. I'm working through the cuff of this sock, but I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do for the actual pattern of it. I don't think I'm gonna do vanilla, just because I cast on on size one needles and 64 stitches, and 64 stitches on size one needles is a little big for me now, so I think it's my gauge constantly fluctuating. So I'm gonna do some sort of pattern. I'm thinking I might do like a little cable down the sides or something. I think that'd be cute. <laughs> It'll already be up by the time you see this. All right, time to get back to school. Doesn't this look fascinating? All right, <laughs> I'll check back in with y'all later. I want to get through something. <sighs> it's 12.30 and I haven't eaten yet. But I wanna get through get through most of the things I have to do today so I can chill out. I'm not, I plan on doing absolutely nothing tomorrow. I might do another lesson in school, but besides that, get all my stuff out of the way today so I don't have to worry about it. Hello. Oh, I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> we got some mail. Nothing that I purchased. Oh no, that's not true. One thing that I purchased myself, the rest of it was gifts from my mother that I put under the tree. They came already wrapped, which is great. It is now 3.50 in the afternoon and I went ahead and made dinner early because I was really hungry. I didn't eat a proper meal this morning. That is actually done now. I am gonna go eat it after I'm done talking to you. I made rice porridge, which is one of my favorite easy things to make. And I think I might make tteokbokki later tonight because I want it and it's still early so I'll get hungry again later. So I might have rice porridge now and then some tteokbokki later. I had to come up here to get my Gatorade so I figured I would update you on my knitting. I still haven't done my advent stripes today but I have time. I will. I did however get to the toe of my first advent sock. I finished the foot. So I just gotta crank out the heel on this bad boy and she is done, which is very exciting. And while I was doing class, I'm not actually done with my lesson today. I just have to do my assignments. I have two assignments and a quiz. No, I did one assignment. I just have one assignment and a quiz to do and then I'm done for the day. But I figured I would eat first, <laughs> fuel my brain. But while I was working on my lesson earlier, I got through the cuff of my new sock. There we go. This color is looking so pretty. And this Progress Keeper is from Lock and Lou, a classic in my Christmas collection. Loving how these are turning out. I think I am gonna do a little cable motif down the leg. No, down the whole foot. Or, God, what? Down the whole sock. But I need to go through my books and see what kind of cable I wanna do because I might do something fun. Let's do, let's, let's do something fun. It'll be simple, but it'll be good. Now the one thing I got in the mail today that I did order was I got a mug. This is from Rochelle of Sassafras Knits. And it's this beautiful hand-thrown mug. It's got two sassafras leaves on it. And this gorgeous dark brown glaze and this little like mountain scene. It's made by Amy Burke Pottery, who is local to Rochelle. Like they live in the same town. 
It's got a little like thumb spot here. It's gorgeously made. It's absolutely beautiful. And I immediately, oh look at the speckle, speckle the inside. Oh, it's so good. I was already making coffee when the mail arrived, so I immediately switched out the cup, the mug I was planning on using. I washed and warmed this one and then put my coffee in this one and it was a delight. So exciting. So I got a new mug and I love it. I don't know if she has any more on her site. She does still have some. Yeah, it doesn't say what the quantity is, but there, as of right now, which is 3.54 p.m. on Sunday, December 17th, there are still some mugs on her website. So I will link Rochelle's store down below so you can get to that. And I think that's all I wanted to tell you about. I'm gonna go eat some porridge. It's porridge. Brad and I call it porridge. I'm still working on laundry too. I've been working on it. You know, laundry's never done, but I am working on it. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat my porridge and then finish my lesson and then do whatever I want for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah that might be that might be true. It might just be a New Orleans thing or a Louisiana thing. Louisiana thing, yeah, because I'm pretty sure Florida steams its oysters too. Well, you can get them steamed. Of course, everybody does raw, but... I like mine steamed because I like... When you eat them raw, for some reason you can't chew them as much because they just slide down your throat. I mean, yeah. you get the flavor, but I prefer to chew mine and get more flavor. And I do like fried oysters, but they're not my favorite way to eat them. I'd rather just have them steamed in the shell. Chuck them and eat them, you know? That's the best way. Yeah, no, me I too. I, I like them steamed because raw, while they taste fine, I can't handle the texture. I can have like one raw oyster. Yeah, but I did grow up eating them steamed, so that has a lot to do with it. Because you know South Carolina and their oyster roast. Yep. But that's a serious thing. Dan's having a massive one on New Year's, like he does every year. I know. I'm really jealous. Because I grew up going to those. You know, people would steam them in a pit in their backyard and just have a big table out back and. Everybody just stands around and cuts oysters and eats them and drinks and parties and, you know, you, you've been to Oyster Road. Yep. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, raw and fried oysters you don't shuck. Unless you're, you know, eating them raw when you gather them. Yeah, but no, they're served on the half shell. Or fried, just in a pile. I, I think that's kind of like part of the fun is shucking them yourself. No, this place... This place was definitely Cajun themed, though they had gator bites on the menu. Oh, it's nice. That's been a while since I've had some good gator bites. They have them here. I need to find me a restaurant around here that serves gator. I was asking Brad if he thought that gator was a was a okay thing for me to eat or not okay since I don't eat meat. Well, it's reptile, so I don't know. Right. So, but I think I determined that it is okay if. It depend basically it depends on how they got it. Yeah, if they went out and hunted it, it's fine. If they raised yeah. farm raised it, it's not. Right. Right. Okay. I don't know anybody damn stupid enough to farm raise gators. Right. Holy shit. <laughs> what kind of a catastrophe could that turn out to be? <laughs> My God. Because you got to feed them and you got to keep their habitat up. And I no. <laughs> Hell no. You couldn't even get insurance on the place. No. <laughs> <laughs> and what if you had a breach in the a fence and your gators got loose? Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's not like a cow or two wandering down the road. Nope. That's just too funny to think of. Ponder that in my <laughs> time out to give myself a laugh. You're 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 welcome for that one. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to have to discuss that with Brad. <laughs> you brought it up, so have a discussion with him about it. Everything that could go wrong <laughs> on the Gator Farm. What are you doing right now? I'm looking through a stitch dictionary to see what kind of cable I want to do for my socks. 
Hmm. South of Columbia. You know, in between Columbia and Lake Marion, down there in the Santee Cooper area. That was kind of the line that went down the state. You know, below it was a big gator population, and above it was a something. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll have to redo the state legislation or something. Can you imagine? If there's as many gators in Lake Murray as there are in the other big lake, Lake Marion. Oh my God. With all the people, all the drunk people out of Lake Murray. Oh God. It is still Sunday. Yes. And I'm feeling antsy with cast on energy. So we're going to get reckless. I did want to tell you that I made a decision about my crochet afghan. Hold on. Okay, I have this skein of bare hawthorn that I was talking about putting in the afghan. I am going to do that, but I also have these two scraps from past projects. This was a sweater. It's 100% merino fingering weight, and this is a leftover Malabrigo Ultimate Sock from a pair of socks I did. And I'm gonna add all of these in to give it some extra oomph. That's a little update. I'm also gonna go ahead and buy the pattern for that Goodrun Johnston hat, and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna get the bag ready. I might cast it on tonight, who knows. I'm also gonna look up a pattern for hand towels for this that I got from Brienne at Moon & Yarn Craft Room. I'm gonna see if I can find a pattern for this so I can cast on maybe some hand towels. That sounds kind of fun. We're gonna do that too. So I'm gonna cake this up, I'm gonna look for patterns. I will probably let you know tomorrow what I ended up doing tonight. <laughs> Monday, December 18th, and I am on the couch. I slept in this morning. I woke up at like 7.15 and panicked that we hadn't taken the recycling out to the street because today's trash day. Oh no, my sinuses are burning again. I'm gonna have to go do another saline spray. It really helped yesterday. I just need to be more regular about it. Um, yeah, so I was worried that we hadn't taken the recycling out, so I like ran downstairs and put the recycling out because we hadn't. So we don't actually currently have trash can, a trash can. <laughs> I went to work day before yesterday, Saturday, and when I left the house, I noticed that our trash can was gone. I was like, why is our trash can gone? And I looked at both of my neighbors on either side of me who both rent from this, like our houses are all owned by the same company. So we all rent from the same people. 
and they had trash cans. They didn't have our old trash cans. They had shiny new trash cans. And I was like, how come they got new trash cans and I didn't get new trash cans? So I called the rental company and they were like, oh, you have to call maintenance on Monday and ask them to give you new trash cans. I was like, why would they take our trash can and not give us new trash cans? That doesn't make any sense. Do they think we just don't need trash anymore? <sighs> so I didn't have to take the trash out this morning, but I did take the recycling out. I did call maintenance. They are bringing us new trash cans whenever they feel like it. So annoying. I usually don't have much of an issue with our rental company. They're usually like on top of most things. We're pretty low maintenance renters though. So like whenever I ask for something, they usually show up like the same day to fix it. And we've lived here for over three years now. So they need to treat us better. We are long-term tenants. Anyways, hopefully we get a trash can today. I, mean, I, was, I woke up at 7.15 in a panic, so I needed to take the recycling out. I took it to the street, I came back upstairs, I went back to sleep, and I slept until 10. I don't ever sleep till 10. I did stay up later last night than I usually do, but normally when I wake up the first time, I just stay up. But I was like, it's my day off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to sleep. And then I slept till 10. This boy also slept till 10. He didn't start crying to go outside until after I woke up. Isn't that wild? Needy boy. Let's talk knitting. Let's talk about what I've been up to. So last night I finished Brad's first sock. Brad's first Christmas sock. I wove in the ends and everything, which is great. I think it looks so cute. I hope he loves it. I think they're going to fit. Well, we'll 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 see. If you don't, if you missed it, I decided to make these sixty-four stitches instead of sixty-eight, because while he has a wide foot, his socks stretch out so much. So I think I might need a little more negative ease. I'm trying sixty-four stitches on a size one needle, because with my current gauge, that has been getting up a slightly big for me. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I did just cast it on the second one. I have a teeny tiny little baby one. Sounds like the heat might be thinking about kicking on. Ugh, it's so noisy. If it does, I'll just meet back up with you when it's done. I did my advent stripes yesterday, but I won't show you yet. I'll just do my stripes today and then show you after that. I decided what I was doing with my winter wonderland socks. It is kicking on. I'll check back in with you when it's done. All right, we're back. The heat is off. Uh, yes, my Winter Wonderland socks. That's what we were talking about. I decided what I was going to do. I put in a little bit of footage from yesterday of me going through my pattern, like my stitch dictionaries and trying to decide what kind of cable I wanted to use because I decided I wanted to make these cabled. And I decided to just do a regular cable, just a regular four by four over cable or a four stitch cable, you know, two over two. And I'm doing one on each side of the foot going down the front of the sock, but I'm also doing two on the back, but I'm putting these together down the, I just stuck with the tail of my coffee, uh, down the back center of the leg so that it goes nicely down to my heel. So that's all I'm gonna do with that. I'm not doing any sort of texture in here. Everything else is stock in it, just those four little cables. And I think it's really nice. I'm just doing the cables. It's like a six round repeat or something. So pretty, pretty mindless. And now that it's established, I don't even have to like think because I can see where my pearl ridges go. But I think they're gonna be super cute. It's really hard to see the color in this light, but this color is beautiful. You can see it a, a little bit, like the flashes of blue. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And these are for me. I'm knitting them 64 stitches on a US-1 needle, which is just a little bit roomy on me now, which is why I decided to do the cables because they'll tighten it up just a little bit. 
just a little bit. I also started two new projects besides that one. This one, I've just been keeping my stuff up here. I'm actually knitting this one on straight needles. But I mentioned this last night that I was going to cake up my Queensland, ooh, Queensland Collection Dungarees yarn that Brienne gave me and start hand towels. I currently in the kitchen use washcloths as hand towels because they're small and the space that I have for them is small. Like a whole hand towel doesn't easily fit there. So I'm actually knitting hand towels, but with a little loop so that I can hang them. I don't know if I'm gonna get two out of this ball. We will see, but I only just started it. And I'm using straight needles because why not? They were handy and these are small, but I'm doing the tin ceiling washcloth and hand towel which is a free Pearl Soho pattern. So I'm not giving anything away. It's free on their website. And it's just a really nice, like, texture. So that's all, that's all I'm doing. I did add a few extra stitches just to make sure it was big enough. And I'm wondering if, no, it'll be a good size. I added four more stitches just to make it just a, like half an inch bigger because I'm using DK weight and the pattern calls for worsted, so I'm accommodating for that. I am knitting them on size six needles though, so they'll be a fairly loose gauge. And that's that, I started that last night. I did start one more thing last night. I was just having a ball last night. It was great. I also started my Riggies beanie, which I'm really enjoying so far. I'm not very far on it, but that's what she looks like. It's knit in short rows in four quadrants and then seamed together. And I am this far on my first quadrant. This color is so beautiful. So, so gorgeous. I do, that's why my mouth looks so weird. Um, I do really want to work on this, but I want to get my advent knitting out of the way a bit and maybe finish the cuff on Brad's sock. I need to, I need to check how many days I have until Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's see. Days until Christmas. It's the 18th. I need to finish it this weekend or this week, which means I have today and then four more days, five days to finish a sock. That's plenty of time. I finish a sock in five days all the time. Why aren't you focused on me? All right, uh, five days to finish a sock. So that's cuff, leg, heel, foot, foot. So if I do the cuff and some of the leg today, I'll be in good shape. I'll be in tip top shape. So I'm gonna work on things I have to work on first and then I'm going to enjoy working on my little beanie. It's, it's gonna be so good. I didn't do a gauge swatch, so cross your fingers that <laughs> I didn't make a mistake. Oh, and I also mopped the kitchen floor this morning that I didn't do yesterday when I was cleaning the house. I did it this morning while I was making coffee. So that's great. All right, I'm gonna zone out. I'm gonna watch some TV and crank out some knitting real quick. And uh, I also have to make cookies this week. Our cookie exchange at Nick Group is on Friday. Nope, Thursday. So I have to do that. All right, I'll, I'll check in with you.
good morning. It's Tuesday. No, that's not true. It's Wednesday. I didn't film it all yesterday. I had a day and I will tell you about it very shortly. I don't have my tripod up here, so I am holding you awkwardly. But I will sit down with you in just a minute after I go downstairs and make coffee. I'm going to sit. I will, I'll tell you all about yesterday. But my friend made me a countdown calendar that started on the 18th and I forgot to start opening it. And today is the 20th, so I opened the 18th, 19th, and 20th just now. And I wanted to show you what was in it. Day The first day had two pieces of this, like, dipped matcha cookie. There's like a chocolate one and a white chocolate one. They look very tasty. Love a treat. The second day is also a treat of some sort. It looks like a bark. And then the third day was actually this super cute hanky. It's got a blue pineapple butterfly corner and then blue all around the trim. It's so pretty. I love it. Look at this crochet. It's so lovely and delicate. So this makes three hankies that I have now that I need to wash and start carrying around. <laughs> I feel like three is a good number. It's my favorite number, so I feel like now is the time. This battery is actually not charged, so it's good that I still need to go downstairs and get my coffee made, and I'll let a battery charge, and then I'll check in with you, tell you all about yesterday. All right, good morning. It's time for me to fill you in about yesterday. While I sit and work, I just put lotion on my hands, my advent socks. I need to do my stripes for today. It is currently 8 24. Oh. Sorry, my friend texted me something about cars. Oh my god, so many so many things this morning. Okay. So yesterday I said it's 820, it's 820 something this morning, and I didn't get to check in with you at all yesterday. It sounds like the heat's about to kick on. I can't win. I guess I'll knit and check in with you after the heat's done. Okay, the heat is done. I am about halfway through my first stripe for the day. And let's tell you about yesterday. It was eventful. Kind of eventful. Oh no. I did do a saline spray and it's not helping this morning. <laughs> uh, yesterday. Yesterday in the morning I woke up, I worked out and I took a shower and by the time I was done with all that I didn't want to do anything but knit so I didn't I just sat and knit for the rest of my morning I didn't have a whole lot of time left before I had to go to work so I really wanted to take advantage of it so I didn't check in with you but then after work I knew I had to go to the grocery store because we're doing a cookie exchange with Nick Group on Thursday and today is Wednesday I need to make cookies so I needed the ingredients to make my cookies and I knew I needed to go yesterday because I was not going to the grocery store to get ingredients and then coming home and then cooking or baking. That wasn't happening. So when I left work yesterday, it was 5.30 when I left work and I went out to my car and I started my car and it started rattling or knocking a little bit. And it immediately made me nervous because my car hasn't really done that before. And my car is getting pretty old and it was very cold yesterday. It was the first like proper really cold day of the year, <laughs> over halfway through December. So that made me nervous and I immediately, I had in my head because day before yesterday, no, it was a couple days ago now, Brad made a offhanded comment about us getting our oil changed back in South Carolina when we we're home because we did and he's like I hope they topped off our coolant with antifreeze I hope there's antifreeze in the car <laughs> and so immediately that, that little comment was in my head and I was like oh my god my car's frozen <laughs> so I like got out of the car and I went under the hood and I looked into my coolant reservoir and it was really low like super low on coolant so it was hard for me to tell if it was liquid or not or if it was like 
ice. So I was panicking. So then I was like, I'm gonna call someone who knows about cars and see what they say. So I called my father, who is a car guy. He's always the one who worked on my car back in South Carolina, or we always worked on my car together. So I called my dad and he was like, oh, that's no good. <laughs> But then he was like asking me questions and he's like, but it's running? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, I don't know about that. I think you might need to call your grandpa, my dad's dad, because he has more experience with cars up north. Because my dad, while he lived up here growing up, he did not have a car. Up when he lived up here, he did not really have a car until he moved down to South Carolina. So he only really has warm weather experience with vehicles. So I called my grandpa. And I asked my grandpa what was up, and he was like, oh, that's no good. <laughs> they're hilarious because they're the same person. And he was like, um, basically after a lot of like questions and us going back and forth for a while, because my concern was that I wanted to get antifreeze in it as soon as possible, and I wanted to know the steps to be able to do that. Like if I ran the car long enough, would it warm up everything enough that I could then put antifreeze in it? And the solution was actually, yes, that. So this whole time my car is running, warming up, and I'm wa monitoring it to see if it's overheating and it's not, which is a great sign because if you're coolant, if you're not interested in this, I'm so sorry, but I tend to take care of all of my like basic car maintenance myself like I don't take it to the mechanic unless I need an oil change or an inspection or something's actually broken like that's dangerous so anyways we're monitoring it I'm monitoring it it's not overheating we agree that if it's not overheating that it's safe to drive because if the coolant is frozen in it it would overheat immediately because that's what coolant does. It keeps your car from overheating. Whether it's cold outside or not, the engine's gonna get hot. So I drove it to AutoZone, which is the store closest to me. And it's actually like really close to my house. So, and close to work. I mean, I've worked like seven blocks from home. So I drove to AutoZone and I went inside and I was like, can you test my coolant to see if there's antifreeze in it? And they were like, no. <laughs> we don't do that which is a thing you can do I actually need to go back to the auto parts store and get a pH tester because they said they should sell them so that I can test my own coolant for antifreeze so I might do that they're supposed to be really cheap really dinky little things but they couldn't do it I think that's just not something that they're like trained to do so but she's like but I can look at it so she came out to my car and she like looked into my reservoir and she saw that it was almost empty but it still looked liquid and she's like, I think you're okay. I think you just need to top up with antifreeze. So I bought a gallon of antifreeze. We topped up my car. I drove it to the store to get my cookie ingredients. It never overheated. And I told Brad to check it again this morning when he went to go to work. Make sure the reservoir was still full up to the line and then top it off again if it needed it. So I think I'm safe, but I did have a panic attack. <laughs> We're okay. If there's one thing in in this world that stresses me out, it's my vehicle. My car and my dog, they stress me out. So I didn't enjoy dealing with that yesterday. I'm really grateful that it turned out all right. But afterwards, I didn't feel like doing anything. I got home, I was supposed to come home, or I was supposed to go to the grocery store, get things for cookies and dinner, and I was supposed to come home and cook dinner. And by the time I was done with all the car stuff and all the grocery shopping, it was late. I didn't feel like cooking at all. I was stressed. My heart hurt a little bit. Brad ordered Mexican food and we sat down and watched anime and I didn't do anything else for the evening, including talking to you. So that was my day yesterday. I have hardly knit at all while telling you that story. But today I do have to bake cookies. I do have all of the things that I need to make them. I'm a little bit nervous because it's a kind of cookie I've never made before. And there's always a risk when you make a cookie you've never made before, especially one that your mother tells you is a very difficult cookie to make. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that hard. It's my favorite cookie to eat, and that's why I wanna make it. 
So I think I have ingredients for backup cookies if these don't work out. We will see. I'm making Florentines, by the way. Not like Mary Berry style Florentines with like the dried fruit in them, just chocolate vanilla Florentines with some chocolate drizzle on them. I'm not doing them sandwiched either because I have to make a lot of cookies. I need to make like 78 cookies. So I'm not doubling that number to make sandwich cookies. All right, the heat's gonna kick on again. I'm gonna keep knitting. I'll check in with y'all later, probably after work, when I'm baking. We'll bake together, okay. All right, I'm actually here. I am wearing shorts, by the way. <laughs> I am on the second stripe for the day, but I did, I forgot that I wanted to update you on my Riggies beanie that I started the other day. So, if you didn't hear the other day, I recklessly cast on the Riggies beanie because I've been thinking about it and I wanted to make it. And I got yarn at my at my yarn shop. It's a pattern by Goodwin Johnston. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm obsessed. This pattern is so much fun. I have done three of my four quadrants of my hat. Each quadrant is a little wedge. I've done both of my red ones and I've done one pink one and they basically go together like this. All the way around and make a hat. And it's looking nice and long, which is good because I want a nice generous curved brim and look at these colors together i'm obsessed i love this so much and i like i said i'm done with the red i definitely used less than half of the ball so i can make another one i'm contemplating one that is four different colors I think that could be fun but I have been I've been loving this I've been loving working on it it's great I highly recommend if you like hats and you have been wanting to like switch it up and maybe do a hat that's a different uh, construction method I recommend this one it's very good very easy very delicious so there's my three wet my three pieces three quarters of the way there Good evening. It is 7.20 and I am getting started on my cookies for the cookie exchange tomorrow at Knit Group. And I've been making bad decisions. So far, I decided that I wanted to use a recipe that called for processed almonds, like in the food processor so that they're nice and chunky. And I don't have a food processor, so I'm working back there on processing my almonds by hand. And then I realized that the recipe calls for orange marmalade. I had a time last night. <laughs> I made my cookies and I did, I did do it. I ended up making all the cookies I needed to make. I have extras. I kept the ugly ones for myself. The thing is, they didn't turn out like Florentines at all. <laughs> My battery died in the middle of a sentence yesterday and I was too wrapped up in being in the kitchen and cooking to go get a new battery. So let me tell you about what happened. I forgot orange marmalade, which the recipe called for. And instead of just getting clothes on and going to get orange marmalade, I decided it would be easier to make orange marmalade. So I made orange marmalade for the first time. It went fine, the marmalade. It was delicious and great. And then when I went to make the cookies, it didn't turn out great. The first round of cookies turned out like this. This is not a Florentine. The next rounds, I was on the phone with my mother and we were like contemplating what to do. The next round came out like this. 
which is a little closer to a Florentine. And then the third round came out like this, which is less like a Florentine. So I went back to this situation. I had like a little bowl of my uh, dough and was like adding different amounts of cream to it to soft, to lighten it, uh, to liquefy it a little bit more, to wetten it. And I was trying both greased and non-greased pans because I'm out of parchment paper. And I don't know what went wrong in the recipe, but I ended up making a whole bunch of cookies that look like this. So like an almost Florentine, but my mom was like, but how do they taste? And I tasted them and they're one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten. <laughs> they have homemade orange marmalade in them. And they're so like caramelly and delicious. I mean, I had to make a caramel at the beginning and it was my first time doing that and that went perfectly well. That's not where it went wrong. I don't know what went wrong, but it wasn't the caramel that went super well. So I don't know what went wrong, but they were too delicious for me to, like I was about to make a different kind of cookie. I was like, I have things to make peanut butter chocolate cookies or not peanut butter chocolate, oatmeal chocolate cookies which have pecans in them and they're really delicious and really easy. I was like, I have all the stuff for that, so I can just do that instead. But these were too delicious. I didn't want to waste all the dough, so I just followed through. And I made a whole bunch of them and they're all bagged up and ready to be given away. They're delicious. I just have to think of another name for them that's not Florentines because they are not Florentines. They are like orange almond cookies. <laughs> but not like an actual orange almond cookie, so I don't know what I'm gonna call them. I am tired this morning though because I was stressed last night and I stayed up late making cookies and being stressed. It is 8.30 and I'm just now getting out of bed, which is late for me. And I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to drink a protein shake. And I'm going to knit. I. I think I might also be PMSing because I've been feeling a bit fatigued anyway. God, my fridge is being loud. Yeah, so I might be, I might be gearing up for that. I did make Lohiketo last night, which is a Finnish salmon soup. And let me tell you, I'm glad I accidentally had to buy the quantity of ingredients to make it twice because that was so delicious. We actually only ate about half the pot last night, so I have more today for like, so I could take some for lunch. But oh my God, it was so good. Highly recommend. I will try to remember to put the link below to the recipe I used. But yeah, it was delicious and it was super easy to make. I had Brad help me with the vegetable prep because it requires like peeling potatoes and stuff. So it went super fast. I also wanted to say that I am behind on editing Vlogmas. I was supposed to upload, edit and upload an episode for Tuesday and it is now Thursday and I have not. So I think I'm just gonna do one giant episode for Saturday because I have a half day off on Friday, so I will have time to edit or tomorrow. So I'll have time to edit. So I'm just gonna do a big like monster episode on Saturday. I just have not been feeling it this week. I've been, I've had a lot going on. I've been kind of tired. <laughs> so that's it for this morning. I have knit group tonight. Thank goodness. Good morning again. It is now Friday, December 22nd. 
Monday's Christmas and today is my second to last day of work for Christmas break. I did want to say that I am wearing my PJs again, but this nightshirt, you've seen it a few days in a row now, I literally only wear it after I wake up in the morning and before I go to work. I don't wear it any other time of the day, so I wear it for several days in a row. I don't sleep in it and I don't hang out in the house in it except for this like two hour period so if any of you are wondering why I wear the same shirt every day that's why let's not be wasteful with the laundry all right quick knitting update I just got my you saw b-roll of my coffee and my cookie situation we had the cookie exchange yesterday I got my plate of my little assortment of cookies this morning I picked a couple classics <laughs> I got like a sugar cookie one of these little jam roll cookies I don't know what they're called and then this one I think is some spiced cookie with sugar all over it which is so delicious so I guess I'm gonna be having cookies for breakfast for the next while but knitting I'm about to do my advent stripes for the day I haven't yet I don't remember if I showed them to you yesterday uh, I can show you now. I am this far. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. two more days and then the toe. So that's how far I am on those. I'm going to do, that includes today. So I'll do two more stripes today and then there's tomorrow for stripes and then just the toe and the heels. I finished the fourth quadrant of my Riggies beanie last night. I did work on it at Knit Group because I just, I worked on Brad's sock a little bit and then I got tired of it and I wanted to work on this. So I did and I got almost done with the fourth quadrant and finished it up when I got home. And I joined it to one of the red quadrants. So we have one half of the Riggies beanie assembled and it's looking very good. The join is very tidy. It's gonna look even more tidy when it's blocked, obviously. This is the kind of yarn that blocks super well and super dramatically. The inside looks like this, which is also very cool. It's supposed to be a reversible hat, so you could wear it with the ridges or the riggies on the inside or the outside. I don't know which way I'm gonna wear it yet. We will see once it's done and I try it on. I just need to finish assembling it, all the knitting's done. So I'm going to do my advent stripes and then I'm going to work on Brad's socks, which I did work on a little bit at Knit Group last night. I muscled through and made sure I made it through half of the foot. So I only have half of the foot and the toe to go. And I will take it to, no, I won't take it to work today because I'm not, I'm, I don't get a lunch break today. I'm not working a full day. I get off of work at two today, which means I will have a solid afternoon of knitting as well. So I will finish this today and get it blocking so it will be dry for Sunday. I know they're his Christmas socks, but Brad and I tend to do uh, stockings and stuff on Sunday, on Christmas Eve, not on Sunday, but on Christmas Eve. So I want to have these ready for then so that he can, I, I might put them in his stocking. I'm getting another late start today. I think, throwing stuff around. I do think I am PMSing. I've just been so fatigued and haven't been able to do anything <laughs> extra. Yeah, so I've been sleeping in a little bit later, trying to just rest until my body decides it's ready to do stuff again. I do miss my workouts a bit in the morning, so I think I might do a Beat Saber session when I get home. Oh, you can see my messy coffee table. I might do a Beat Saber session when I get home this afternoon. So yeah, half day of work today and then a full day of work tomorrow and then Christmas break. Then I'll be off for an entire week and that's gonna be so nice. That's it for the check-in this morning. Oh, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> I am sitting here. I just sat here to start editing Vlogmas, the big episode, which is the one that should be up tomorrow. It is still Friday. 
I did some classwork today and I almost finished. Brat. Christmas socks. I'm on the toe. And I'm going to work on those while I edit here in just a minute. I was gonna try to finish them, but we ended up having to stop and go get dinner and eat. And then he was like sitting with me so I couldn't work on them. So while we were sitting down there, I did cast on my second advent socks. I literally just cast them on. I have, do not have very much on them yet, but I have the teeny tiny little start to a cuff. These are gonna be so cute. And I think when I'm done with this toe also, I'm gonna kick up yarn for another Christmas cast on. Yesterday was the solstice. So I've been thinking about doing a solstice cast on. I could have done it yesterday, but I need to finish this first. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna get my solstice cast on going, but I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I have two, let me, let me reach past you, I'll probably knock you, but let me grab these. I have two yarns picked out here from my Christmas yarn stash. Winter holiday yarn stash. And one is this yarn from Bad Sheep Yarn. The color is Christmas Carol. And it's just so fun and beautiful. I love it so much. But I don't know if I wanna cast this on or if I wanna go a little more literal and do this sock set that I got in my, I got the winter solstice box from Explore Knits last year and this was the sock set that was in it. It's called Midwinter. And it's beautiful, but also the theme. <laughs> it's midwinter and that was yesterday. So I'm trying to decide which of these I want to cast on, but I'm gonna do one of them. We will see. But in the meantime, I'm not going to think about it too hard until I get this toe done. But this is gonna be my last check-in for the evening. The next Vlogmas that goes up, not this one, but the next one, will be the last Vlogmas. I'm gonna be filming Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday, and then the last Vlogmas will be up on Tuesday. So that's wild, Vlogmas is almost over. We did it again. <laughs> I didn't do it every day this year like I did last year, but nonetheless, we did it. All right, I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna knit, and it's already 7.40, so I'm gonna try to do it as quickly as I can. I do have to work tomorrow. We'll see. Bye. <laughs>